everyone, how are you? I just got back from an estate sale and I went to a little thrift shop too and I just wanted to show you quickly since I'm so behind on my hauls. If I try to sit down in the parlor and do it nicely, I'm never gonna get it done. So let me just show you what I got. I think I spent about $18 at this estate sale and I got some fun, mostly Christmas things. So I got this little Santa music box. He's a hard plastic and he is made in Japan and he plays Santa Claus is Coming to Town. There was probably an old price tag there and I don't know if you will be able to see it. I'm having trouble with my eyes today. I'm not sure what's happening. I think they're just dry. So yeah, maybe you can read what that says. I think it says made in Japan, but yeah, there's his little sticker. He's that fun, hard plastic, which I'm always attracted to. And I'll, oh, there he goes. I'm gonna have him for sale in my shop. And then I found, not these marbles, I got those somewhere else. I found this little Lazy Susan and it's also that hard plastic. And I don't know, it was, I've been wanting one. It's small. I mean, it's not like a plate size. It's like a salad plate size. So what's that, like eight inches? Anyway, I've been wanting one and I'll put something on it to keep on my table and I knew I would know it, know the one I wanted when I saw it and I did, I saw it. So I bought that and it spins very nicely. So I'm gonna wash it up. You can see it's very, very dirty and use that here in my dining room. And I bought this, I thought I, bought a little brass elephant too and I don't know if I took it to the counter and left it there. I'm not sure what happened. It was so cute and I don't have it. So I picked this up also. I thought this was kind of cool. I'm not really sure what it is. It has what looks like a bingo ball, but it's, you know, broken or open. It says I-27, I'm guessing, and it has a little clip on it. And there's a tag from the store, which says $3. So I don't know if it's a place card holder or what it is, but I thought it was a little bit unusual and I liked it. Not quite sure what I'm gonna do with it. I found these, which are right out of my childhood. These are a pack of, this is a pack of Go Fish cards and it is from 1973, I think. Like I said, again, um, 72, 73, maybe you can see it there. Ma! That's about the year I would have been playing this game and it had such cute little images on it and they're all different fish. Starfish, goldfish, sunfish, and look at the groovy, look at the groovy background. That W looks familiar. What does that mean? I can't see it. So you can tell me. Anyway, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with those. I'll probably just use them as package toppers or something, but I thought it was really cute. <clears throat> Excuse me. This of course is an extension cord. They had a table with about 20 extension cords in brown and green, and they were priced between two and three dollars a piece. And I do try to pick these up when I find them at thrift stores or garage sales and whatnot, because they're expensive to buy at the store. And having an old house, you always need these. And it's nice to have some that are green for the holidays so that they disappear into your Christmas tree. I bought this pack of glassine envelopes. I use these when I'm packaging things sometimes in my Etsy shop. So that was a good buy there. And I bought these four little napkins. I have, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm in such a hurry. I have other little napkins which have a similar edging on them. These feel like they might be linen. Um, or a linen blend, but they're rather nice. There's four of them there, and I will probably just keep those because I do use the ones I have. 
and I bought, oh, these were, this was, the, this was probably my favorite thing. I bought this, it was all bunched together. It's some vintage garland. This piece broke off, but uh, if you've don't, never found vintage garland, you'll know it when you see it. It's just different from what you buy nowadays. It's heavier. It almost feels like it might be metal and it has just a different, prettier, softer look to it. You'll know it when you find it and you'll say, oh, I really like that. It's not like what they have in the Dollar Tree. Now, not that there's anything wrong with what they have in the Dollar Tree because that's fun too. I love any shiny, glittery, glittery holiday stuff. So this was a great find as far as I'm concerned. And also with that were these two, these are hard plastic. I don't know if they're old or not. I thought the bottom might be older, but I think you can actually find things like this at Target. They're plastic. So there is a silver and gold one. And I do have my little, um, you know, feather tree that I'm gonna put out this year. So that might be good to go on top of that. And there were these two little candles. I didn't really look at the bottom. I think it's just a white sticker. This one, this one's a little curved, so maybe I can hold him over something warm and straighten him out. But these are some vintage Christmas candles and I'll have those for sale in my shop. And I lastly there, I also got these two, can you see them, storage boxes. One is about an 11 by 14 size and the other one is larger, which I don't know, what, 12 by 18 or something like that. And they're, these are nice heavy ones. And these will be perfect for storing some little knickknacky things, Christmas things like that. I'm really kind of in need of something like that and they fit perfectly under my bed and stack and help keep things organized, which is a work in progress for me. So there's those things and I will show you quickly what I got at the thrift store I went to. I was just there for a moment. I have to go pick up my son from school. So, their magazines are 25, sorry, oops, camera tilt. Their magazines are 25 cents each. And look, I found all these Victoria magazines. And my friend out there who likes Victoria magazines, do you want me to pass these on to you when I'm done? I have more. These are mainly from like the 90s. I have some from the 80s too. June 1990, so there I got, I think I got six of them for $1.50 at 25 cents each, right? That's not too bad. Yep. And I got this vintage embroidery hoop for a dollar. This is a charity shop I was at, one of my favorite ones. Yeah, this was a dollar and I started to pick those up because I'm finding some stitching kits and yarn kits and I want to be able to send those along with whoever purchases those because you know when you get it, your item and you're ready to start working you don't want to go you know to Michael's and buy an embroidery hoop. I found this there too. I thought I would use it in my fall display somehow. It's a doily and it was only 50 cents but I just thought it was really really pretty. This isn't kind of the type you usually see. That looks like it might be, I don't know. I was gonna say machine, but no, it actually looks like it's hand stitched along the scallop edge there. And look, oh, this might be pretty, you know, even for, um, hello, St. Patrick's Day or something. And did I get one other thing? Ah, okay, this I thought was great. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it because I don't do junk journaling, but I know people that do, so I can share these with other people. It's a whole big bag of blue chip stamp books and stamps. And it was $5, but there's lots of them in there. So I know my cousin Alicia does lots of junk journaling and my friend Laura 
Laura Simpson. She does also. So I don't know if you guys want some of these. Anybody else that um, does junk journaling want me to share? Look at the little. In fact, the young lady who was helping me there, she didn't know what they were. Anyway, blue chip stamp books. I got this whole big bunch of them. How many are there? There's probably at least 15 for five bucks. Well, that's all I have. And yeah, that's all I have. Come back next time. I'll try to, you know, we'll have a cuppa in the parlor next time, I promise. Have a great day, everyone. Cheers.